Hi everyone, this is Hiba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my 2022 Project Life. This is week six and seven. I'm going to stick to two different Studio Calico kits. As you guys know, when I'm behind, I like to stick to my kit. It makes the process so much easier because I'm not looking through my stash trying to fill out these pockets. Anyways, I really love that four by six card with the quote. I feel like it matches really well with my spread. So I'm basically uh, building my three by fours off of my four by six card. And I have a feeling like I know what I wanna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my layout aside and start working on my title card. I'm gonna be using some white alphas to spell out week six. I tend to stamp week six on my four by sixes, but when the card is dark like this, I like to use my alphas because I feel like they pop off the card. It just looks better than stamping it in white ink because the white ink usually have to double stamp it. So this just makes it easier and I like how that white pops. I also added one of the yellow word stickers from the kit just to bring in some yellow to my spread. So I grabbed this four by six photo of my daughter in concert and I'm using the stamp set from the kit. There was a stamp that said beautiful. I'm gonna stamp it in white directly on my photo and I'm actually gonna grab a chipboard heart in yellow, again, to bring in some yellow and it's just cute. So I know I wanna use this three by four card as my journaling card. I did add a little bit of journaling here and there, but I wanted to mention other things that happened throughout the week. So I went ahead and printed my journaling on some transparency paper, and I'm literally just gonna stick it down on this three by four card and call it done. Okay, let's move on to this uh, four by six photo with some journaling. It's just a picture of Sabine and I at their concert. And I wanted to use the four by six card to punch out one of the circles. I felt like this four by six, I would gain more if I punched out the circles than using it as a four by six. So I'm just gonna use one of those circles as embellishment right above my journaling. And then I want to document this photo of our garage door. You guys, the garage door came out of the rail and I was so scared because Sabine and I were in the garage, opening the garage to leave, and it fell off the rail and it was so loud, I was so worried that the garage door would fall on her. Anyways, I used one of those yellow word stickers, just again, to add some yellow to my layout. And I'm going to add one of the yellow chipboards from the kit to this three by four card, again, to bring in some yellow and just to create my own three by four card. I also am using one of the stamps and I curved it to go around my circle just to add a little something there and called this three by four done. And I believe I'm gonna switch around some of my photos to balance it out a little bit, add a few more yellow word stickers to a few of my photos. And then I call week six done Let's move on to week seven, which I'm using a different Studio Calico kit. But again, I'm trying to stick to the kit and the kit only. This helps me to get my layouts done when I stick to a kit. So in week seven, I'm documenting going to my sister's new bakery, checking it out, having a great time with the family and supporting her. I went ahead and chose that Make-A-Wish Matchbox 4x6. I felt like it was perfect with the whole theme because she's been wanting to open her own bakery for years now and she got it done. We're so proud of her. So I'm gonna use that card as my title card. I'm going to add week si uh, seven on my card using the alphas from the kit, but I decide to remove the WK just didn't like it. I don't know what it was. I decide to actually use the week stamp from the little stamp set that came with the kit to add right there at the top. It's really teeny tiny. You can't really see it, but I actually like it more than the alpha stickers. So I end up stamping that and I think I stamp a little heart right above it too.
So I'm going to create a flip pocket for my two four by six photos. I wanna back up one of the four by sixes with a card and I'm going to create my own using some white paper. Now, I wish I went larger with my white paper. I usually do. I like to cover the four by six photo so it can hold really well, but I was being kind of cheap and frugal and I found this piece of scrap paper and I went with it. It really doesn't make a difference. It does hold better if you use a full like length uh, scrap paper, but it's okay. I end up just going with it and it's fine. Now, once I have my flip pocket done or my flip up done, I'm going to use some of these puffy stickers from the kit to add a little something right between my journaling and photo. I just thought it would be fun and cute and it brings in some color to this flip up. I'm also gonna use a chipboard banner to add to my photo of the family and everybody. We had such a good time. It, the weather was amazing and her bakery is gorgeous and we ate uh, till we couldn't move anymore. So anyways, <laughs> I want to add some journaling to this three by four card, but I felt like the three by four card was very bland. So I'm cutting out that circle from another three by four card to add interest to my journaling card. I printed my journaling and I made sure to have a little half circle on the side so it fits the little circle that I trimmed out from my three by four card, if that makes sense. And once I stick down my transparency paper, I can add that circle and it's gonna fit perfectly. And I was really excited because I don't think I've ever done that. I tried to do that and it never works, but this time around it worked and I know the trick and now I will do it all the time. Anyways, I'm done with my journaling card. I'm just gonna add a little berry to my camera here just to bring in some of that blue from my photos. And I believe I'm gonna flip around some of my photos and cards. I was kind of struggling. I felt like things weren't balanced out in the colors. So I kind of play around with it until I get it right. I think I get it right and then I move it again, but now I have it right. I want to add a little something to this uh, photo of my sisters and I with the journaling. So I went with a chipboard. I'll also be stamping one of these little weekday hearts. They are so cute. It came with the kit, the stamp set, and they're little hearts that have the weekdays in it. So I'm gonna stamp it on some white paper, trim it out and use it as an embellishment for my three by four card with the journaling. I'm just documenting some of the stuff we ate while we were there. And again, it was very, very yummy. Once I trim out my heart and add it to my photo here, I believe I call week seven done, if I'm not mistaken. I think these weeks came together so quickly because I was using a kit. I always feel like if you use a kit, you can finish up your layout pretty quickly. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.